I'm Jacob James, photographer, filmmaker, and Lumix ambassador. For filmmakers looking to integrate the S-series of cameras into a cinema workflow, alongside the EVA1, Varicam LT, or Varicam V35, having the ability to record in V-Log and V-Gamma will make matching the footage much easier. Making the S1H and the S1 with optional firmware the ideal cameras to partner the larger Panasonic cinema range. LUTs, or lookup tables, are simply files that modify an image into another image through a mathematical formula. In this video, I want to explain why you should use LUTs, where you might want to use LUTs, where you might not want to use LUTs, and the three main types of LUTs, monitoring, transform, and creative LUTs. First off, let's start with the camera. Log footage, natively, is very flat. This can make it extremely hard to monitor both exposure and focus. This is where a monitoring LUT comes in. Monitoring LUTs allow you to convert log footage to a much easier to monitor format. One of the most standard being a log to Rec. 709 LUT. So here's a current footage in log format. And now with the Rec. 709 LUT. And finally, with a final color grade. The good thing with monitoring LUTs is it's only a temporary transformation and the footage is still recorded in the native log format. In the GH5, GH5S, S1, and the S1H, when shooting in V-Log, there is a menu option to upload a monitoring LUT or to use the built-in provided Rec. 709 LUT. This makes shooting with V-Log much easier. To upload your own LUT, simply drop it onto your SD card in VLT format and upload using the V-Log View Assist menu option. Once the LUT is on the card, navigate to the Monitor Display Video submenu of the Settings menu and select VLOG View Assist. Here you can add up to four more LUTs on top of the provided Rec. 709 LUT. It's possible to view this LUT overlay on the camera monitor, camera EVF, and also if you prefer to apply it to the HDMI 2 for external monitoring or recording purposes. The second type of LUT is what we call a transformation LUT. This is a technical LUT that converts an image from one color gamut or picture profile into another. Common transform LUTs are VLOG to LOG-C, VLOG to Rec. 709, and so on. These are particularly useful in post for matching cameras across brands to make sure they're all in the same color space before grading. It's also essential to use these before you use the next type of LUT, creative LUTs, if the LUT was designed and developed for use with a different flavor of LOG, such as LOG-C. Creative LUTs are LUTs that, as the name suggests, are used creatively to add a particular look to footage. There are thousands of creative looks available for almost all camera formats. These could help achieve the classic teal orange look, emulate print, or emulate print film process. The important thing to note when using creative LUTs is that they are designed for a particular color profile as the input. Some may be designed for use with Rec. 709, others for use with a particular flavor of log, others for a particular camera brand's specific picture profile. You can use transform LUTs in this instance as a first step to ensure that you're feeding the LUT the image in its correct format. This often helps avoid issues with color. And this was a quick guide to monitoring V-Log and understanding LUTs. Panasonic.